12 in the morning pop shells for living in baby gon' smell blood trail every minute rope This scrawny fanny pack clad 16 year old kid is Rich Brian and believe it or not, he's changing the face of hip hop. Even you niggas no fair when I hit him every time I see a big I don't hesitate to kill him. Rich Brian, real name Brian Emanuel, admittedly doesn't look like the typical hip hop artist. But that's exactly what makes him stand out, or did at first. The juxtaposition between Rich Brian's low voice menacing bars and his harmless appearance was a recipe for virality. The proof is there with his first ever song, Dad's Dick, amassing nearly 100 million views. But the song itself really isn't that groundbreaking, because at the time he was just a kid making funny videos on Vine and YouTube. I used to do a lot of like comedy rap type stuff, and it was just, I just did it for fun, you know? And then one day I was just like, what am I actually going on this shit? Dad's Dick was him taking a jab at the cliches of mainstream hip hop. A generic trap beat, graphic lyrics, and obsessive wealth. Yet Brian's attempt at parody actually turned out to be a pretty good song. He could rap surprisingly well and had such a distinctive voice. It ultimately succeeded because this was a take on hip hop from a new and refreshing perspective. Rich Brian's viral success attracted the attention of Sean Miyashiro, the founder of 88 Rising, a mass media company initially aiming to as described by Miyashiro, be vice for Asian people. A multimedia empire that could serve as a bridge between Eastern and Western culture. This vision shifted more toward music after Miyashiro watched the Keith Abe music video for Itchy Ma, a viral hit in 2015. Squash it, Itchy Ma! Woo! On the water! He saw the potential in Keith Abe, and soon after managed to set the rapper up with big name artists like ASAP Ferg and Waka Flock of Flame on a remix track. The viral success of this collaboration reinforced the idea that 88 Rising was onto something big. Miyashiro realized the crux of his mission. He wanted to show the world that Asians could be successful in mainstream media, that they could be quote unquote cool. Fast forward to 2018 and 88 Rising now hosts a number of talented artists from all across Asia and other parts of the world. To name a few, there's Joji, an internet comedian turned lo-fi hip-hop singer from Japan. The Higher Brothers, a hardcore Chinese rap group. And the aforementioned Rich Brian, the low voice rapper from Indonesia. Saw a car crash of a mommy of our first date. Then I went back, got massages at that one place. So it's brought friends, but today I feel like doing the shit alone. These artists and many more under the 88 Rising label are garnering large audiences on YouTube, racking up millions of streams, and going on sold out world tours. The point I wanted to make with this video is that I wanted to say thank you to 88 Rising for not only making a difference in my life, but the lives of many other people. They've managed to do what has long appeared to be seemingly impossible, get Asian artists into mainstream music. And in a way that feels natural, they promote Asian culture without it feeling gimmicky and unrelatable. They wear their culture on their sleeve and incorporate it into their music and aesthetic. Let me be clear, they have Asian elements in their brand, but they prioritize the talent above all else. 88 Rising doesn't feel like a 15 minutes of fame moment, but more like they're setting the foundation and creating a pathway for Asian artists to achieve mainstream success. This breakthrough is important on several levels. Young Asian people finally have role models in mainstream music who come from similar backgrounds. These up and coming artists are showing young Asian kids that they too can pursue their passions and that they are not limited to a certain career path. At the same time, they're teaching everyone that it's so powerful to embrace your culture and identity because that's what makes you, you. And as an Asian American looking to work in media, Thank you again, 88 Rising, for inspiring me to pursue my dreams 
and thank you for being able to break through stereotypes and show the world that talent can be found anywhere. Tw- 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 12 in the morning, pop shells for a living in Berry gon' smell blood trail every minute rogue wave When you niggas no fair when I hit them Every time I see it big, I don't hesitate to kill them Ain't nobody give a fuck about a rule Either get the plumbers or a tool I'm a cool with my youngest no boo When I spray in this cage You fuckers fuck a gang affiliated with nothing but my name Man, I don't give a fuck up